Have you ever pulled a muscle? Well, as a soccer coach, as a previous athlete myself, as a parent of kids that play sports, as somebody that's pretty active, I know it's pretty common to, to pull a muscle myself, let alone as a physical therapist, to hear a patient say that they pulled a muscle. But it's, it's such a common term that we hear a lot of times, and I guess the question really is, what does it mean if you've got a pulled or if you've ever pulled a muscle? Well, I think before we can really talk about that, we have to really look at what is a muscle and how does a muscle work? So one of the things I want you to keep in mind is that a muscle is a combination of a lot of strands of fibers. Think of it as being like a rope, and if you envision a rope, it's a lot of strands of string that are all twisted together to perform this, the common purpose of making movement. Well, that's really what a muscle is. So a muscle attaches to a bone at one end and a bone at the other end. All muscles attach bone to bone. And so the purpose of a muscle, or what a muscle does, is it moves holds one of those bones still while the other bone moves. So if we use your knee as an example, it takes your knee from a bent position and it would straighten it out. One piece stays still while the other piece moves or vice versa. But uh, the way that a muscle works is that it pulls on that bone. It pulls on the piece of it, it creates a force and it moves. Now when it goes back in that example, when it goes out to straight, then the other thing that a muscle has to do is stretch out or elongate. So when you pull a muscle, it's really happening because the muscle needs needed to either lengthen further than it was able to or contract and produce more force either faster or harder or more than it was capable of. So when a muscle is functioning, either shortening or lengthening, it's, it has the risk of being pulled. A good analogy I like to use is that if you imagine a bungee cord jumper, they'll attach one end of the bungee cord to the bridge and they wrap the other end of the bungee cord around the person's ankles and when they get enough courage, they'll jump off the bridge. Well, the muscle in this example would be the bungee cord. It's going to stretch. And at a certain point, it stretches far enough, it gets to the end, and then it starts a contraction and it brings that jumper back up. And that's basically the same way that a muscle works. So when the muscle gets pulled, again, it's because one of two things happened. It's because the muscle got stretched further than it was capable of. So whether you stretch a lot or you don't stretch at all, if a muscle is stretched too far, you're going to pull those fibers. So those fibers that are intertwined with each other, if it gets stretched far enough, you pull those fibers. And what actually ends up happening is you're creating some small, what's called micro tears. Those micro tears generally are not something that you will see on the outside, but they're what will give you that soreness and that stiffness the next day. The second way that you can pull a muscle is that that muscle is out at the end, it's, it's, it, you've straightened it out, it's done whatever it needed to do, it's stretched out, and now it's got to contract and bring itself back together. And in the process of contracting and bringing itself back together, some of the fibers kind of get balled up on themselves, and that's again a pulled muscle. That muscle got caught, it got stuck, it can't now do what it needs to do. Generally, again, you're not going to see anything, it's just going to be stiff and sore, tight, maybe a little bit hard to straighten out that body part, whatever it might be. Typically, when you pull a muscle, it's coming from a combination of those two things. Let's use your knee as an example, your leg. You're going for a walk or you're going for a run, you're walking up a hill, whatever it might be. And as you stretch your leg out to get it out in front of you, your hamstring muscle along the back of your leg, your hamstring muscle has to stretch. If it ever had to stretch a little bit too far, that'll produce that pulled muscle. What happened again, that muscle had to stretch a little bit too far to get your leg out in front of you, and you pull it, and that muscle kind of jerks back. It may give you some discomfort right then, or it might be later on. And again, it might be some soreness, some stiffness, etc. Let's say you're, you're doing a lot of standing for a day. Well, when you're standing and you're on your feet for a period, a period of time, your calf muscle can get pulled can create some discomfort in your knee and the back of your knee, but that pulled calf muscle comes from the fact that as you're standing there, that muscle's having to work to hold you upright. So it's having to hold this weight of your body weight for an extended period of time. It's having to hold that weight and that prolonged holding time is causing that muscle to get pulled. Those fibers get pulled out too far. They're trying to contract back together and instead of staying flat and smooth on it themselves, they kind of get knotted up or balled up. And then again, that's what gives you that stiffness or that soreness. Last example of a, of a pulled muscle in your leg would be if you've ever been walking up a hill or you're going upstairs and you feel this 
pulling or this tight sensation either during it or later on. Again, the same thing, that muscle is being pulled and stretched out to get stretched potentially a little bit too far, or as it's contracting back, the muscle kind of balls up and gets caught on itself. And again, that's really what a pulled muscle is. And we've got to get you doing some things to get that muscle to heal. Because the concern is, during the time that that muscle is not doing its job, it's allowing things in the joint to not work mechanically correctly. So again, if we're using your leg as an example and you've pulled your hamstring muscle, and it lasts for again more than 24 hours or it's happening repeatedly, that muscle isn't doing its job to protect the knee joint, which sets you up for the possibility of increased possibility of, of arthritis developing and things along that lines. But more importantly, it puts you, it sets you up for the potential that you're going to damage or tear the meniscus in the knee, that you're going to set yourself up for some, for some ligament problems. And more importantly, if a muscle isn't healing itself inside of 24 hours, it's going to have a hard time healing itself and you're setting itself up for actually tearing. So it come, goes from those micro traumas to that, to an actual tear no bruising or anything, and then bam, you're walking down the stairs three days later, pop, all of a sudden now you've torn that muscle. If you're using physical therapy like the expert therapists that we have here at Loudon Sports Therapy Center, we can help you to recover from any pulled muscle, even, even if it's that short-term stiffness or it's something that's been happening repeatedly, or it's some big thing that just happened and you've got a big old bruise somewhere, etc. The number one thing the physical therapists are gonna do is they're gonna get their hands on you, they're gonna work that tissue to help to increase blood flow to that tissue, to help that muscle to, to lengthen back out the way that it should, to get it all unknotted from itself, to get rid of the stiffness, then to work on getting mobility back, getting strength back, and ultimately getting you back to the activity you wanna get back to without having to worry about future injury, arthritis setting in, ligament problems, etc. So again, if you've had muscle, if you've had a muscle pull or you've got any stiffness or soreness that's lasting for more than 24 hours afterwards, happens more than one time in six months, or happens more than three times in a year anywhere in your body, that's a sign that you've got some potential problems developing. And PT, the expert therapist here at Loud Sports Therapy Center, can really help you. So Give us a call, click on the link, let's get that taken care of, let's get you out in the yard, doing the things you want to do outside, being active, and not having to worry about, number one, pulling muscles, and not having to worry about pulled muscles coming back to haunch in the future.